Welcome back to another episode. Yesterday, I did three reasons to be bearish on Shopify. And in that episode, I mentioned that I'm actually a shareholder of Shopify, but I always think it's important to understand the bearish side of an investment thesis. On today's episode, I actually want to do the opposite. I want to take a closer look at three reasons to be bullish on this e-commerce giant. So let's get started. I do want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video and make sure to check out fool.com slash Jose to get the top 10 stocks to buy right now. I want to say, right, Shopify has had great news recently. November 29th of 2022, Shopify merchants set new Black Friday Cyber Monday record with 7.5 billion in sales. This is a 19% year over year increase in sales from 6.3 billion during last year. If we take a closer look on a constant currency basis, it was actually up 21%. So there's a few things that I can see from here. Obviously, we like to see that growth in the kind of sales. This is a company that's very dependent to some extent of kind of transactions. So more transactions, the better for Shopify as well. The other thing I do want to mention is we can see in on a constant currency basis, there's not a huge drop, only 2%, two percentage points. So this tells me a lot of the sales happen here in North America or someplace where the strong US dollar doesn't have too much impact. So now let's jump into the first reason to be bullish on Shopify. To me, I just want to say the overall balance sheet. This is something I mentioned on the bearish video uh, about how deteriorating but at the same time i do believe in the bullish sense it still has a strong balance sheet we can see in most recent quarter the company reported 4.9 billion dollars in cash and short-term investments if we take a closer look at that total long-term debt the company has roughly 900 million dollars we are seeing the company cut back on expenses dramatically we can see their previous outlook for stock-based compensation for the full year of 2022 was 750 million dollars now it's 575 million it's insane how fast a company can kind of change that outlook and how much money they can save uh, when they really need to capital expenditures also reduced previous outlook was 200 million now it's 125 million dollars so we can see the overall financial balance sheet the company is very very stable and the company is also doing a lot to kind of reduce those expenses as well um, in the long term of things so i do want to say that's probably one of my first bullish points for shopify the next bullish point i want to say is just the innovation uh, this company is doing and kind of seeing uh, especially in the past year but if you guys are enjoying the episode make sure to hit the thumbs up as it does help me grow my overall audience if you want to support a little bit more make sure to subscribe using my link at fool.com slash jose finally if you are interested in the semiconductor market i do a weekly podcast on a new channel make sure to check that out make sure to subscribe episode four was just released episode five was recently recorded and a lot of great news about the semiconductor space there so let's jump back into here to bullish point number two i did mention right huge kind of innovation in my opinion i mean in just the past year alone we've seen kind of their increasing solutions in reaching new buyers and traffic efficiently they've added new ad tech solutions i think that's super impressive especially since they are kind of this e-commerce solution um, place right so they have shop shopify collabs and shopify audiences where they kind of team up with huge huge ad tech players to make sure they're advertising to the great to to the best person right outside of that they're also increasing their supply chain complexity increasing the solutions here they've recently acquired the liver and then kind of introducing shopify promise which is combating amazon and their one to two day delivery they are overall improving their shopify fulfillment network as well even though this is in my opinion a kind of expensive investment that they're going to i do believe it can overall help the solutions that shopify goes and, and kind of creates one of the great perks of shopify is this is pretty much a one-stop shop you don't need to go find any other solutions if you want to open up an e-commerce store and not just even online right just brick and mortar in general as well the Shopify network is just a one-stop shop, so they need to keep improving everything from fulfillment to kind of even audience like we're seeing here with Shopify Collabs and kind of the ad tech business and obviously even the financial solutions with Shopify Pay, Shopify Capital, and Shopify Balance. I mean, we can see in the past year alone, they kind of did surface expansion to companies like Walmart, Facebook Shops, TikTok, Alipay, Spotify, JD.com. Uh, here we can see in 2022, 
even things like YouTube platform, right? If I am a content creator and I want to sell through my Shopify store, I can automatically link it to this video. And I think that's insane. The other thing is the company is also going offline with things like Shopify point on system, point on sales, um, go. And that's something that's driving strong growth right now. So it started off as an online online solution for e-commerce but now they have numerous numerous kind of solutions for just the brick and mortar which i do believe has strong strong uh, potential for continued growth uh, all this is kind of also not just here in north america they are also expanding internationally so in my opinion I do believe the innovations that they are bringing from the kind of collaborations with huge social platforms like YouTube, like TikTok, like Facebook, and the overall kind of solutions they are increasing from shop fulfillment to the financial side and everything in between like audience and ad tech. I think this has huge, huge tell with. And now this is going to enter me to point number three. And I think it's just the overall market here in the e-commerce side. Even though we did see that e-commerce grew dramatically in the during the COVID times, it did pull back and that's kind of the weakness we are seeing, especially with numerous headwinds in this space. But we can see e-commerce seems to be bouncing back. It's still kind of above the estimated trend line that they have. And we can see retail e-commerce sales worldwide is expected to continue to grow for the next few years. So even if Shopify doesn't gain market share, the overall market is growing. And I do believe that's a huge, huge Huge tailwind for Shopify. Uh, so all of this with Shopify sitting at an extremely attractive price right here to date, the stock is down roughly 72%, less than a $50 billion market cap. I'm not here trying to play uh, play guessing games, but I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised that in the next three to four or five years, this company is over a $100 billion market cap if it does continue to show the strength in this space. Obviously, one of the risks is competition coming in. But in my opinion, right now with Shopify doing all these integrations with great platforms, it's going to continue to be the leader in this space, at least for the foreseeable future. So I hope you guys enjoy these three reasons to be bullish on Shopify. Let me know in the comments below if I missed one. Take care. Have a good day. And don't forget to check out that semiconductor podcast. I promise it's a lot of great information in that space.